What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be building a ground up HPA bolt action rifle using an Ares ASO2 as the base platform. What I really love about this build is that it's not very intricate at all, and yet it still addresses all the major upgrades that you'd want in a high end HPA bolt action rifle build. This video is going to be broken down into four chapters. First, I will run through the HPA installation, showing you how to get the Wolverine Bolt M inside the Ares rifle. Second, I will run through all the upgrade parts that I recommend and show you how to install them. This includes a new barrel, bucking, hop-up unit, trigger, and muzzle. Third, I'm gonna cover what attachments and optics I chose to complement my build. And then lastly, I'll take the rifle over to the chrono station and to the shooting range, and we can see just how well this build performs. As always, you can find links to all the products shown in this video in the description below. I've covered this entire Wolverine Bolt M HPA engine install in full detail already, so I am going to move rather quickly through it for the sake of keeping this video under 15 minutes. If you need help or you want to see the Wolverine Bolt M installation in absolute complete detail, check out the video linked in the description below. As for now, I'm going to run through it rather quickly. Removing the two screws at the base of the rifle, I can now remove the trigger guard, and then I can remove the stock. Next, unscrewing this retention pin and then punching it out from the other side will allow it to fall free. I no longer need any of these parts as they're going to be replaced by parts from the Wolverine Bolt M so they can be set aside or thrown away indefinitely. Once again, check out the full Wolverine Bolt M install for the details here, but I'm removing this retention pin and spring from inside the trigger box as it's known to cause more harm than good once the rifle has been fully converted to HPA. I have absolutely no intention of ever returning this rifle to spring, so I'm going to throw these parts away and then simply close up this trigger box. Now to install the HPA engine into the rifle bolt. Using an allen key I remove the original nozzle from the ASO2 as well as all of the internals from the original spring system. Once again, none of these parts are needed, so you can set them aside or save them for future use. At this point, if I were you, I would take the opportunity to clean the bolt while there are absolutely no internals in it. Pulling the Wolverine bolt into frame, I then slide the bolt M system into the cylinder, keeping the silver threads of the Wolverine bolt M visible in the slots along the left-hand side of the rifle bolt. Once the engine is resting in place, I then twist on the new Wolverine Bolt M provided nozzle. The threads on the HPA engine shifted a little bit during nozzle assembly, so I get them back in place with an Allen key. I then slide the bolt back into the rifle. Keep in mind you may need to pull the trigger to allow the bolt to slide all the way in. If you feel any resistance while sliding the bolt in, this is why. Simply pull the trigger and the bolt should slide all the way in. Once the bolt is in, I insert the air system from the Wolverine Bolt M into the left hand side of the bolt securing it in place with the provided threaded pin. The Wolverine Bolt M HPA engine has been successfully installed and it's functional. But we still need to route the air hose through the rifle stock. Resting the upper receiver into the lower receiver, I get a sense of where the airline falls naturally. I then remove material with a file from the stock in this location, and then I create a hole in the back wall in this location, allowing the airline to run through the grip. Essentially what I've just done is created an entrance and an exit hole for our airline. Routing the airline through the rifle as I assemble it, the final step here is to create a hole in the pistol grip plate for our air hose to make one final exit. By placing a hole dead center in the pistol grip, our airline will exit the grip perfectly. Throwing the nipple back on, the Bolt M installation is now done. To begin the upgrade installations, I'm going to replace the standard plastic trigger with the Type B steel flat trigger from Ares. Upgrading the trigger is an extremely easy process. I simply need to open up the trigger box using the three screws across the front plate of the trigger box. Popping off the top, I can now carefully replace the trigger. The goal here is to just pull out the existing trigger and pin, insert the new pin, and then place the trigger on top. Although you may need to do what I did and remove the rear spring and nut like I'm doing here to get the trigger in first.
Once the trigger is resting in place, you can simply slide the rear spring and nut back into position. Closing up the trigger box with these parts in place, the upgraded steel flat trigger is now complete. For the barrel bucking and hop-up combination, I chose a Maple Leaf Crazy Jet 6.01mm diameter inner barrel at 300mm in length. For the bucking, I'm using a Maple Leaf Autobot 60 degree. I tested these parts among three or four different buckings and this gave me my best results. I'm using a Modify flat nub on the end of the hop-up arm, and for an entirely new hop-up chamber, we're using the Action Army upgraded hop-up unit. To access the inner barrel and hop-up, break down the rifle just as shown in Chapter 1. Once you have the upper receiver isolated, remove the hop-up adjustment screw completely and begin to rotate the outer barrel counterclockwise until it falls free and can be set aside. From here, the only part holding our hop-up unit in place is now the BB feeding tube. Turning the upper receiver onto its head, I can use a wide flathead screwdriver to unscrew and remove the BB feeding tube. The entire stock inner barrel assembly can now be pulled out, and I gotta admit, this thing shot really good out of the box, like it shot really good. However, the stock hop-up chamber is plastic, and it's known to warp over time. So along with replacing the hop-up unit, I'm just gonna upgrade all the parts inside as well. To assemble these parts, I first slide the bucking onto the barrel, aligning the ridge of the bucking into the barrel groove. I then add a small amount of lubricant, vitamin G to be exact, to lubricate the bucking and allow easier installation into the hop-up unit. It's an extremely tight fit. This black cylindrical piece riding the barrel is part of the Action Army hop-up unit. These parts can then be inserted into the Action Army hop-up unit, keeping the ridge from the bucking inside the grooves of the hop-up unit. Once in place, slide that black cylindrical piece down the barrel and into the hop-up unit. This piece helps with barrel stability. I recommend using a flat hop nub for this setup, so I dropped my modified flat nub into the hop-up window of the unit. Using a small flathead, I ensure the nub sits in the right location and is at the right orientation. Opening up the bag of included parts from the Action Army hop-up unit, you'll find a spring and some O-rings. I like to add a little bit of grease to the spring to make it stay in position, but it's not completely necessary. This spring will slide into place on the hop-up arm and stay in place due to the small amount of lubricant. Readjusting the nub, I then close the arm. To add pressure to all of this to give us our hop-up, slide on the provided O-ring and then use a flat tool to help it get into position along the hop-up arm and in the grooves of the hop-up chamber. And lastly, to lock all of this in place, use the three provided set screws to secure the black bracket into the hop-up unit. That completes our entirely new barrel setup. Now we simply need to reassemble the rifle as normal. Inserting the hop-up unit and the barrel back into the rifle is the same process as before. Slide the barrel assembly into the upper receiver, ensuring that the BB feeding hole in the hop-up unit lines up with the BB feeding hole in the receiver. With these holes lined up, insert the threaded BB feeding tube back into the upper receiver to lock the hop-up in place. After that, simply thread back on the outer barrel. Along the top side of the receiver, right below the hop-up adjustment, you're going to see a notch. There is a corresponding arrow on the outer barrel. You need to be sure to line up this notch with this arrow on your final rotation when twisting back on the outer barrel. With these holes lined up, you can reassemble the rest of the rifle as usual. Just don't forget to reinstall your hop-up adjustment screw. And that completes the upgrade part installations. As you've probably noticed, my rifle is now two-tone. My good buddy that I play with wanted a similar setup, so we each bought an ASO2, one in tan and one in black. After switching out some parts with each other, we now have a yin-yang pair of ASO2s that look pretty sick in my opinion. I am a huge fan of how this turned out. The two-tone is absolutely sick, and I love the way that we divided up these rifles. Moving on to my foregrip, after slapping on an m -lock rail segment, I chose a PTS vertical grip in tan for my foregrip. For my optic, I'm installing a bronze Picatinny riser from Amazon. Once again, all the links are in the description below. And for the optic itself, 
I'm using the Monstrum 1 to 4 times rifle scope. This scope has pretty decent eye relief and a really clear picture. It's worked great for me so far and I'm actually even debating running one of these optics on my M4 builds for a little more range. For our last accessory here, I just need to cover up the threads of our outer barrel. With these threads being larger than the standard 14mm size used by most M4 platforms, I decided to go with the Ares Amoeba Striker Muzzle for the AS series as it requires no adapters and it looks really clean. Twisting on the muzzle, the accessories are now complete. Over here at the Chrono Station, I am using 0.32 gram BBs as that's the heaviest that my chronograph can test. With my regulator set to 90 PSI, this bolt action rifle build is showing an FPS variance of only one FPS. I mean, talk about consistency. The Chrono readings were 371, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2, 370.2,